Last week, we told you the story about how we ended up being the villains on our cruise ship. But there was one piece to that story that we left out. Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Jordan. And I'm Jared. And we are JJ, JJ Cruz. <laughs> we are your resident evil villains on your cruise oh ship. Gosh. <laughs> uh, obviously, if you missed the story last week, catch that video. We'll put it in the description below. Uh, but we have a little bit more to tell you about this story. And we didn't know if we were going to talk about this or not. And we literally heard from people that they wanted more information about this. And there's one piece that we need your advice on. So please let us know your thoughts at the end of this video in the comments below. Uh, truly, we don't know. Maybe we are completely out of touch and we are truly the bad guys. But I guess you'll let us know in the comments below. If you're just seeing this story for the first time, I'm going to give you a quick 30 second recap. We were on a very long cruise over the summer. This particular cruise was going to Iceland and Greenland and people on the ship kind of turned on us, turned to their keyboards actually, and thought that Jared and I were clout chasing, making up stories and just being basically the worst people out there. Now, some of you in the comments did side with them saying that cruise bloggers are just kind of not really liked people and you need to leave everyone else alone when they're on their vacation. And then other people were like, no, we love you JJ Cruz, you did nothing wrong. But there's one part of the story that now we wanna to bring to you to ask you if we actually were in the wrong because we're kind of reflecting back on it and we thought we should talk about this on the channel. So just to get a good clarification here, this part of the story actually has nothing to do with the very start of what started it all, but it was found in the forums that we talked about last week about how horrible of people we are. So it fits really well. It's in the same column. You can go find it if you really want to. And it's all regarding people on their phones. So like we said, this particular ship was headed to Iceland and Greenland. And this included a six hour cruise through the Prinz Christian Sun. If you don't know what that is, it's an inside passage of fjords that you get to go and cruise through. And it is absolutely beautiful. We've gotten to actually do this a few times this year in New Zealand, Alaska, and in Greenland. And this sun was stunning. Truly an epic sight to behold. And we wanted to be able to share that with people but probably not who you think and imagine a cruise vlogger would want to share it with. We want to share it with our moms. We know that our moms are not able to travel like we are, and we absolutely want to take them to all the breathtaking places that we go. And of course, they follow the channel. You see them in the comments all the time, as well as in our lives. However, they aren't able to cruise with us, and we want some special moments with them while cruising to Iceland and Greenland. We also cruise a lot and we miss our families dearly when we're gone and our friends. So yes, yeah, surprisingly enough, we're not always on YouTube or out with our cameras. Sometimes we like to connect with our family back home. So once again, clarify here, we are cruising this six hour inside passageway of Greenland. Beautiful sights all around for six hours. And Jordan and I both decided to, well, FaceTime our moms. We did it at separate times, so that way it wasn't conf conflicting or anything like that. I did it when it was a little quieter out. Obviously, there's people everywhere outside. It was all outside, uh, not anywhere on the inside where there's activities. It was all outside places. And of course, I did it first, and it was no problem. There's not an issue there. Uh, I did it very much in a corner before a lot of people got out and saw it because it was at the very beginning. And then Jordan went on his phone with his mom. So when I decided to FaceTime my mom, I was sitting outside the buffet area at a table enjoying my coffee. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to call her really quick and just show her what we are seeing because it's so beautiful. I got on the phone. My mom, you know, agreed. She's like, wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. There was some people around me, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get off the phone because I don't wanna be disrespectful to those around me. I was on the phone with my mom for three minutes. And I do have some receipts to prove this. It was only a three minute FaceTime, but then of course, 
that three minutes to the people next to me felt like hours. These people went to the forums and said JJ Cruz are the most entitled people. They were screaming into their phones the <laughs> entire day with their friends and family to where it was unreasonable to even be able to take in the beauty around us. Yeah, we basically ruined their time because of these phone calls that we made to back home. Now, I want to remind you, I was only on the phone for three minutes. When Jared was on the phone, he wasn't around anyone, so nobody even <laughs> knew that he called his mom. The rest of the day was the two of us sitting out there enjoying the views. Yes, we were filming some on our cameras, as was every other person out on the deck. But B-roll, you know, filming where there's no sound. This is all just taking in the beauty. We'll talk later about the experience, and you can see that in our Iceland Greenland review, the good, bad, and ugly of Iceland and Greenland cruises. But overall, it was just picture perfect, quiet, for five hours and 57 minutes. <laughs> we are very sorry if you are watching this at home and we ruined your day in Greenland because of that one phone call, but we did want to get everyone's advice at home on this. Was that disrespectful? Was this a moment where we should have said, you know what, we're not calling anyone. We are not gonna say a word to anybody around us. We're just gonna sit and enjoy the beautiful fjords. Or was it okay for me to call my mom and show her very briefly what we were getting to look at? My opinion on this is this is a cruise for everyone. And unfortunately, not everyone at home will ever get this chance to experience this. And when we were FaceTiming, Mind you, we weren't screaming at our phones. That's unreasonable. We were taking in the beauty just as much as everyone else. But it was for three minutes, and it was FaceTime, where we were focused on the scenery, not ourselves, if that makes sense. I understand that people don't like to see electronics on cruise ships. That's very old school cruising. We still get that when we have our laptops out at a coffee shop and we are working very quietly by ourselves. People telling us, put your stuff away. You shouldn't be connected when you're at sea. And we understand seven years ago when we started cruising, we actually kind of did that. We would put our stuff in our locker or our, our safe and we wouldn't ever touch it until the end of the cruise. So we ask you, who is right in this scenario for us to go FaceTime our moms for three minutes and show the epic beauty of Greenland for those three minutes? Were we in the wrong? Should we have not done this? Reminder, we were in an outdoor venue. This was not during activities, events. We were not shouting or anything like that. It was just taking in the beauty with someone we love. Or should we have not done this? Just like Jordan said, should we have put our stuff in the safe? Should we have sat outside with a coffee in hand and just sat there for six hours straight? Let us know in the comments below. We wanna hear your thoughts. And by the way, please hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up while you're at it. We are so close to getting to our next goal and we would love for you to be a part of it. And it's free for you. So you tell us, are we the bad guys? We want to hear from you at home. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, see ya. See ya.